But I've heard testimonies that fasting has helped some people feel lighter, healthier, and so on. So it's your choice. Personally, I think what you eat and how much quantity is a lot more important than how many hours a day you eat and not eat. What's up YouTube? It's Jay from L214 Fitness. So today we're going to talk about whether or not fasting affects our ability to put on muscles or rather does it hurt to put on muscles. Although time-restricted feeding or intermittent fasting is a popular idea for weight loss, let's find out what science says about its possible roles regarding training and muscles. Let's get started. So, many researchers report that fasting for a certain time period during the day can yield in many health benefits. One of main which is the autophagy or autophagocytosis, which is the degradation of the cell that removes unnecessary, dysfunctional, and or malfunctioning cell components through a lysosome-dependent regulated mechanism. Basically, it's a process of degradation and recycling of used up cells. Fasting is also reported to be able to restore proper functions of mitochondria, boost the immune system, slowing down aging process, anti-inflammatory effects, glycemic control, and much more. Typical and popular fasting protocol is 16 by 8, which means out of 24 hours of the day, you're fasting for 16 hours and eating or consuming necessary calories within the 8-hour window. There are many other fasting models such as 18 by 6, 20 by 4, or even daily fasting such as 2 days of eating and 1 day fasting, or 3 days eating and 1 and a half day fasting. But the most common fasting model is 16 by 8. Now, yes, a short-term fasting can be good for us, but seeing how my channel is about fitness and bodybuilding, the question that I'm asking is, can fasting be used for muscle gains? or does fasting cause muscle loss? Let's find out from various studies done on multiple age groups and my personal thoughts and experience as a personal trainer on fasting. In a 2020 study led by Dr. Stratton and colleagues took 32 adults who regularly resistance train and randomly assigned them to fasting and normal diet group for four weeks and supervised their training. The study measured the changes in participants' body compositions, one rep max, and muscle endurance before and after the study. In conclusion, I'll put up a summarizing graph on your screen right now. Uh, these are the results after four weeks between the fasting and normal groups in one rep max and reps to failure in leg press and bench press. As you can see, there isn't a huge difference in the two. The scientists in the study concluded that fasting did not necessarily enhance the participants' ability to reduce fat mass as well as it did not necessarily impact the ability to retain lean mass and improve muscular strength over the course of four weeks for adults who are already actively training with weights. Basically, fasting did not result in significant changes in body fat loss rate, but also did not cause significant gains or losses in strength and muscle mass than before. So aside from other health benefits of fasting that I mentioned early in this video, in terms of muscle gains or loss, fasting for 16 hours a day for four weeks while resistance training does not seem to impact muscles on any significant level if you have been training regularly. So the previous study was based on people who are already lifting weights, but what about for people who are not quite active and or overweight at the same time? Can fasting have positive effect on body composition, especially in muscles for sedentary overweight adults? In a 2021 study from Physiology Reports, the researchers took 21 adults in the ages between 35 to 60 who are overweight and obese and divide them into fasting and normal eating groups, and both groups completed eight weeks of cardio and resistance training. The fasting group was only allowed to consume all necessary calories within eight hours in a day from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., while only consuming water, sugar-free black coffee, and tea during fasting hours, and normal group maintained their dietary habits, and there were no restrictions in food choices for both groups. Uh, in conclusion, I'll put up a simplified graph on your screen right now. Uh, while the two groups both saw a drop in total fat mass and increase in lean body mass, meaning muscles, the fasting group saw a significantly higher drop in body fat and total body weight, while both groups gained muscles. 
Normal group saw a little bit higher increase in lean mass than the fasting group. Uh, in a shorter answer, for sedentary overweight adults, if you just start exercising and fasting at the same time, you will lose a lot more body fat and total body weight than if you were to just exercise and keep normal dietary habits. And on top of that, fasting or not with exercise, you will see muscle gains. But if you'd like to focus more on muscles, normal diet seems to be an optimal choice by few margins. So then what about for people who are over 50s? In an editorial from Aging Journal in 2019 stated that although fasting can result in few key overall health benefits for elders, however, it can also trigger the effects of sarcopenia, meaning losing muscles, and loss in muscular strength. For older adults, ensuring enough and necessary calories, especially protein, seem to be an optimal goal, while a deliberate fasting may lead to overall body size reduction from muscle loss, especially for those over 60. And many studies out there keeps coming back to the importance of resistance training for aging people group. I've made a whole video on this topic previously, so if you'd like to know more in depth, uh, please go watch it. I'll put up a link right here and down in the comment section below. Unfortunately, most of the studies that I could find on fasting and changes in body composition were only conducted for four to 12 weeks. There were no long-term monitoring results. So I can't really tell you exactly how our bodies will react or adapt to fasting after say six months to over a year. Also, although there are many studies on fasting and body mass changes, there aren't too many that focus solely on fasting and muscle or hypertrophy. But from what I can tell scientifically from the few studies that I could manage to find is that if you are regularly training with weights, fasting seems not to be affecting the muscles both in gains and loss all that much. And also that one undisputable fact is that fasting can be used to trigger autophagy and optimize mitochondria functions and other health benefits. And if you have never worked out and are overweight or obese and would like to drastically drop body fat and body weight and are not too keen on gaining muscles, then combining exercise and fasting may be a better run for you in the short term. So what's my take on fasting while working out? Personally, do I fast? No, I do not. Do I recommend to my clients? No, I generally do not. Uh, that's mainly because, one, I personally don't think fasting has that much of an impact on clients' body composition changes. There could be other physiological health benefits, but in terms of muscles and targeting fat loss, I don't think fasting has that much significant impact over the good old training hard and eating the right food at the right time regimen. And two, Keeping up a strict fasting protocol is a lot harder than most people think. So it's gonna be short fasting cycle most of the time. I mean, if you're absolutely confident that you can keep it up for over a half a year or longer, then by all means, go ahead, give it a try. But other than that, it's gonna be a lot more challenging than you think. And lastly, three, uh, fitness and bodybuilding is about consistency discipline, and day after day of work. So I believe, especially uh, for clients who are seeking professional training and coaching, regimented routines in training and dietary habits consistently are a hell of a lot more important than simply just planning on fasting. So for these reasons, I do not generally recommend fasting for my clients and for most people seeking uh, fat loss and or muscle gains. And if I'm being completely honest, um, I do sometimes fast for 24 hours, like once every quarter, just for those other health benefits mentioned earlier. But other than that, if I ever do fast, it's almost always unintentional, like I ate too early in the night before and I slept in and I had training session early in the morning and I have back-to-back -back client sessions right after that, so I have no time for eating, those sort of things. Um, I do feel like I get better pumps on long hours of empty stomach, but obviously it's probably because there's no blood needed in the stomach and it all 
gets rushed to the muscles, but I do feel weak towards the end of training than usual. So ultimately it comes down to your choice. Would you like to seek other health benefits from fasting? Then by all means, go ahead, but make sure to keep up with your resistance training volume, but probably don't expect a huge advantage in muscle gains than if you were doing four to six meals a day. We are all different genetically. Fasting may not be the answer for your hypertrophy game, but I've heard testimonies that Fasting has helped some people feel lighter, healthier, and so on. So it's your choice. Personally, I think what you eat and how much quantity is a lot more important than how many hours a day you eat and not eat. So I hope today's video has cleared up some things on fasting and muscle gains. And please let me know if in the comment section if you had a successful fasting for a long time and had a seeing greater results in the gym. Please let me know. I'd like to know more about it. Well, that's a wrap for today. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. It'll mean so much to me in preparing this type of content for you all. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.